In today's video, I'm going to show you an alternative to frequency separation in Photoshop for the iPad. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pisao and you can also find me on Instagram under Pisao Chan Photo where you can view all of my work. Now, let's get on with the video. Frequency separation is a technique that almost all portrait photographers use. This technique allows us to smoothen out the model's skin while keeping all the details on it. Since Photoshop for the iPad is still not able to create high pass layers at the moment of this video, using frequency separation will not be possible. Today, I will be showing you guys another way to smoothen out the skin while still conserving the details using levels adjustment layers. Let's jump right into it. Let's open up Photoshop on my iPad and pick a picture to work on. Uh, oh, by the way, you are now able to save them from the desktop version and continue onto the iPad by selecting the Save As option and choose Save in the Cloud. It will sync up into the cloud and you'll be able to see it uh, on the iPad. First thing I will do is uh, create a levels adjustment layer by tapping and holding the plus sign. Choose adjustment layer and levels. In the layer, I will take the gray point and move it to the left to brighten up the image. It is up to you to find uh, the right intensity, but uh, don't go too crazy. I always look uh, at her under eye shadow and gauge from about double of the original. Then I will invert the mask by tapping on the lightning icon on the right and choose invert. As you can see the mask changed from white to black. Uh, finally I will rename this layer by selecting the three dots and rename layer. I will name it dodge. Next I will create a second levels adjustment layer. But this time, I will pull the gray point to the right side to darken the image like so. Invert the layer mask and rename this one to Burn. Alright, we are now ready to proceed. The idea here is to add brightness in the shadows and darken the highlights. Uh, by doing so, we even out the color tones and thus giving the skin a smoother effect while keeping the details. Does that make sense? Let me show you. Select the brush tool on to the right. Tap on the three dots at the bottom to bring out the brushes options. Uh, lower the flow to 1% so that we are adding the effect bit by bit and leave the rest of the options as they are. I'm using the Apple Pencil right now, that's why uh, the use pressure for opacity option is activated. But it can also be done without the pencil. Uh, I will turn that off for this tutorial. Okay. First, I'll add some brightness to the area under her eyes. Make sure to always size your brush the same size as the area that you want to apply the effect on. and. Make sure that the foreground color is white. It is really subtle, but here is the before and after. Now I will move on to the next areas. I'll speed up, speed up the process uh, and show you the before and after. Okay, here's an example where I would darken an area to uh, even out the, the contrast a bit. Here's the before and after. Now I will group all the layers and show you uh, the differences. So here's the before and here is the after. And there you have it. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please let me know by smashing that like button and subscribe to my channel to get more tips and contents like this. Stay safe and continue to create.
Peace.